asking yourself, uh, what is Ira and Nate doing at the forestry service on a Thursday morning? Well, we're gonna go cut down some Christmas trees. We gotta go cut trees down in this area. Right now, we're about an hour from this road, and then we gotta go up here, and it's about another half an hour to, uh, to Smokey the Bear here. Left the Jeep at home. Thought we uh, would need a little, just a little bigger of a car to haul a few Christmas trees away here. Got about an hour's drive right now to get there. I hear there's some pretty views, so uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. to the cutting down section of the forest. Now we just gotta find a place to actually go cut a tree. Yeah, yeah. Looking for something maybe a little, little taller than me. So I think we're gonna use me as a good measuring stick. Looks like it's snowing a little bit. So that's uh, it's fun considering it's January 7th and it hasn't snowed a single bit this year. Going a, a little bit of off-road in here, gonna try and find a nice little, little Christmas tree. gonna drop off the car parked it back there a little bit me and Nate here Nate me we're going on foot from here gonna find two whoa god gonna find some trees to cut down and hopefully not die along the way also me being as smart as I am did not prepare for there to be as much snow as there currently is or for it to be snowing Thinking. I'm thinking that just doesn't give me the Christmas vibes. No Christmas vibes no, no here? Christmas vibes here. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not really feeling Christmassy with this. Yeah. We thought we found a banger, but we may have found other bangers more that way that we passed up. But we're gonna keep that banger in mind. Chop that sucker down. And I'm still focusing on not slipping and dying. Seems like it's about my height, wouldn't you say? Perfect, let's do it. Perfect. Alrighty. We found the perfect banger. It's a little bigger than me. It's like twice my height. Let's get to cutting. Chop, chop, chop. See, we wanted it to be my size, but it's taller than me. So Nate's gonna cut it down, then we're gonna top it off. And I'm just the safety man right now, saving Nate's life, so the tree doesn't give him a concussion. Cause safety first. <laughs> As I've now learned, you have to groom a Christmas tree to make it look pretty. See, I've never done this before. I'm Jewish. I'm proud that I'm Jewish. But I'm doing Christmas this year. For other people. Christmas is the shit. Christmas is the shit. I don't know. I've never done this. Is like the most Christmassy thing I think I've ever done, other than the time I was a gingerbread man in preschool in our holiday show. That was the night.
we have succeeded at cutting down two Christmas trees. Nate got his up there. I got mine back here. You know, we also realized that when you have a Christmas tree and you cut it down, it's not too smart putting it down in the middle of a forest because then you lose it and it takes forever to get it back. trees is because we're donating them to families here in Fort Collins for the holiday season and you know who maybe can't afford to buy a Christmas tree for their own family um, so they're gonna chill here for a little bit I guess Christmas came early for the wood shop um, they're gonna chill here for a few days and then we're gonna deliver them sometime next week to these families <laughs> 